In this video, I want to just give you an update on EA's latest patch, Madden and Phil 23 title update, February 7th, 2023. Now, we will be testing the patch, of course, as the day goes on. So make sure to stay tuned for the channel and sub for all tips and tricks related to this. Uh, some massive changes. So let's just roll through this real quick. Uh, hey, Madden fans, welcome to Grand Our Notes for our seventh patch or title update today. We have um, some gameplay updates. So let's just get right into it. Gameplay updates. Modifications made to QB contain logic to mitigate pass rush exploit known as the quote-unquote loop blitz. Only defenders on the line of scrimmage will be able to be assigned a quarterback contain. This means that the nickel 3-3 loop blitz likely is probably less effective. This also means that contain blitz team in general hopefully is less effective and it means that the meta is going to significantly shift back to probably 3-3 cub if you want to get my entire 3-3 cub defensive ebook the link's in the description ten dollars get you access to everything we're going to be updating the patreon all day long uh, with new blitzing tips and new strategies for how you can be effective defensively so make sure you're a patreon member it's only 10 bucks to become a member and like i said the link is in the description dev dev note here says these changes are meant to bring balance uh, to the loop blitz exploit while also offering more authentic rush lanes, specifically by trying to avoid putting multiple rushers in the same gap or getting a contained player inside of an adjacent rusher. We will continue to monitor these changes in the live game. We'll continue to make tuning adjustments if necessary. I think they got the memo that people didn't like, the loop blitz. I personally didn't like it that much. Um, and I actually stopped running it probably a few weeks ago. Uh, I did release an ebook teaching people how to do it, but um, I just didn't like it. I just felt like, you know, it's, it's very, um, it, it was very glitchy. Um, and it, it was good, but um, there was a lot of problems with it. And I'm glad to see hopefully this. The, the problem with Madden 23 in a nutshell, if I could just sum it up, is it's inconsistent. Uh, Civil would say it's a coin flip. I totally agree with that. Um, it's a coin flip year, and that's part of it what drives me nuts. Um, so hopefully uh, with this one piece patch, uh, piece of the patch here, it's going to bring some updates in terms of consistency from a pass blocking perspective um, and just make the game a little bit better. Um, I, I do think that the loop blitz was a little bit weird. Um, and so that's that's just my opinion. So hopefully they fixed it. We're going to get in the lab and uh, check into some of that stuff. Uh, let's take a look here. This is also some really important things. Uh, fixed an issue causing the ball to appear in the wrong hand during the Stefan Diggs signature touchdown celebration. I was really hoping they would fix that. Um, it doesn't say in, the, in here that they fixed ags. <laughs> um, addressed an issue causing the wide receiver's route to change from a streak to a goal line fade after sending the receiver in motion. Uh, I know that I think Ant Cap from Huddle.gg was actually using that in his offense or has had some teaching on that earlier on in the season. That is totally a thing. If you motion a receiver, if he's on a stock fade, like um, like out of PA counter going trips out in, you know how that receiver's out there on a stock fade. If you motion him across, he, he turns into a goal line fade. There's some things you can actually do with that. So I think that's fine. Um, it's not really, it wasn't really that massive of a deal. And then general stability improvements. Didn't say anything about fixing free form going through ball's hands or player's hands. They didn't say anything about when you throw a high point pass to a wide open receiver, they will just drop it, but they can still ag in one-on-one -on -one scenarios. So kind of interesting. Face franchise, not really that, don't really care uh, too much about face of franchise. Um, fix some issue where user skill-based patty set passing settings would reset after entering a Mutt Squad, Mutt Squad's game. Great. Um, so yeah, uh, oh, this one right here actually is actually a thing. Uh, remedi remedied an issue where the kicker active abilities would deactivate during halftime adjustments. Hopefully that's fixed. That was a big deal actually. Um, so yeah, so that's patch updates. Want to get this out to you as quick as possible. We're gonna get in the lab and test everything out. Thanks for watching the video. Make sure that you, if you want to get access to all my eBooks that you join the Patreon. It's only ten dollars to become a member, and you're gonna get access to all of our updates to our eBooks as well, post patch as they need to be updated. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, if you want to sign up for the Patreon, head down to the description below.